LeBron James trolled Kelly Loeffler after she lost the Atlanta Dream WNBA team to a former player. Let's dive into this news. How's it going, you guys? It's Devin Howard. Come follow me on Instagram. I'm there as at Devin Howard. Double check that you've subscribed to the Fumble, tap the bell for notifications, and don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Kelly Loeffler, a former U.S. Senator for the state of Georgia, has been the co-owner of the WNBA's Atlanta Dream Team. Her time as co-owner was filled with controversy. She never stood with black athletes when racial tensions were at an all-time high. She consistently threw black players under the bus and refused to meet with them to discuss discuss their concerns about racism, discrimination, and social justice. And basically, she created a really negative environment between herself and her players. Things got so bad that the Atlanta Dream athletes were even calling for her to be replaced to sell her share, and they also publicly expressed their support of her political opponent. Now the day has finally come that Kelly Loeffler no longer has her hands in the Atlanta Dream Pie. She sold her share of the franchise, and former WNBA player Renee Montgomery stepped in to take her spot. It's a truly remarkable moment and one that shows the shut up and dribble era of basketball is coming to an end. LeBron James trolled Kelly after she parted ways with the WNBA team by posting a link to an article about the sale and captioned it, stick to sports. LeBron has often been told to keep his head out of politics and in basketball, but he has remained firm in his decision to be an outspoken voice for social justice issues. There are a ton of politically active players like LeBron, and now he's got Renee Montgomery right there beside him. This is a monumental moment that LeBron definitely should celebrate. Back in January, he actually tweeted that he wanted to put together an ownership group for the Atlanta Dream. I love that he's reminding us all that athletes don't need to stick to sports, they're multidimensional human beings with the immense power to educate the masses and create change, which is exactly what Renee is doing. How do you guys feel about LeBron clowning Kelly Loeffler? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell. I'm Devin Howard for The Fumble, and I'll see you guys later.